Bhagavad Gita, text 2.10 O King, in the midst of both armies, Rishikesha, smiling, spoke these words to the sorrowful Arjuna. Krishna smiles to encourage Arjuna. As Krishna prepared to speak grave topics, he sought to make light of the situation that so overwhelmed Arjuna. The preceptor similarly makes light of the task at hand in the beginning by allowing us to believe that perfection is almost within our grasp when in fact it may be lifetimes away. Krishna's smile further indicates his affection for Arjuna, who remains his friend even as he becomes his disciple. In the Gaudiya tradition, the disciple sees the guru as a dearmost friend. The guru teaches the disciple like a friendly elder. Here, Krishna's smile indicates the union of friendship and servitude that characterizes Arjuna's love for him. Vishwanath Chakravarti comments that because Arjuna has at this point become Krishna's disciple, Krishna merely smiles and refrains from chiding him as he did earlier. Although Krishna's speech is directly to Arjuna, it is spoken in the midst of of everyone assembled, Senayor, Ubayor, Madhye, and it is therefore a universal message for all to hear. Responding to Arjuna's appeal, Krishna begins to speak to him in Upanishadic language, which is appropriate when speaking to those who have understood the conclusion of religious injunctions. Arjuna has demonstrated, even in his apparent confusion, that he is well versed in the religious codes. He has surpassed inquiry into religious life, dharma, jigyasa, and is now at last ready to hear about spiritual life, brahma, jigyasa. He knows well the futility of pursuing enduring happiness in this world, even when one's efforts are in concert with the religious injunctions. If one somehow or other, either by religious adherence or association with a saint, reaches this point in life, one is qualified to hear Vedanta, the conclusion of the sacred literature through which one can touch the soul. The Upanishads are known as Shruti, that which is to be heard, having been spoken by God himself for our benefit. As Krishna begins to speak, Sanjaya refers to him as Bhagavan, God, and thus the song of God, Sri Gita Upanishad, begins. <laughs> 